Okay, welcome to Kenny and Jack React. Kenny and Jack React. Episode 1. Number 1. We are watching Clash of Champions. Yes. The first The wrestling. First ever Raw exclusive pay-per-view. I'm looking forward to it. What about yourself, Kenny? Uh, my nipples are wet with anticipation. So are I. Apart um, so should we do predictions? Yeah, I think we should do predictions. So uh, okay. first off, we've got Nia Jax versus uh, Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox. I think that's going to be one, two, three. Nia Jax. Jax is, it'll have to be. It's going to be Why a would match. Alicia Fox, it's on the pre show as well, so we'll find exactly. out in like literally like a couple of hours. Yeah. Um, so after that we have. Uh, Kevin. Uh, Cesaro versus Cesaro versus, versus Sheamus, best of seven. Yeah. Uh, Cesaro. I want Cesaro to win it. Cesaro is in the band for me. Okay. As much as I like she I think Seamus is a fairly rain. decent worker. Uh, he's okay to watch, but. I think he just needs to get a good booking of some sort. I'm gonna go with Seamus oh. and shenanigans. She think it's gonna you think it's gonna be uh well screwy finish. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a screwy finish as well. Yeah, really All the matches we've got. Jericho versus Sam Zayn. Right, uh Sam Zayn. Mm, how so, how so? Uh, I think Jericho's put Skies over and I think we go from Canada. I think Chris Jericho wants Sami Zayn to do well. I think I'm going with, I'm going with the backstage, like, I, I know. Yeah, I know. Like, we know, we work in creative. We, like, my best friend's cousin's brother, like, knows a guy yeah. in creative and pretty sure Sami Zayn's going to go over. <laughs> no, I think you know Sami Zayn yes. needs to. Go. I, I think Sami Zayn needs to go over. I think Sami Zayn needs to go over more than Chris Jericho because I mean, Chris Jericho's Jer done all, man. He's, he's the man. He, Drink he's it in, man. Exactly. Drink it. You stupid idiot. Oh, this has um, been the best one of Jericho's yeah. had for a long time. I do think they should take this from with Jericho. Uh, further and like possibly at, like a WrestleMania main event or like a main title. He needs I think he runs needs at some point. One but more. I think one more time putting Sami Zayn over and then it needs to go I back. think I really want to see, I will not see it because uh, he's on Raw uh, he, he's on Raw and I really want to see Jericho the Intercontinental Championship. You know, get, yeah, I really want to see him again just to get that in his career. You know, ten, is it, he's won nine. He needs to get ten. Give him, give him a nice round figure. You know what I mean? My water is going everywhere. So you want Chris? So you think of Chris Jericho? Uh, my brain says Sami Zayn, but my heart says Jericho, and I'm going to fall in heart and go okay, Jericho. Okay, Jericho. And then after that we have uh, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks. Yeah, yeah, the triple threat. Uh, with Bailey as well. And Bailey as well. Uh. <sighs> I think it's too early for Bailey to win the championship. Really? I think if Bailey was to win, it would be on a big pay per view. Like either Royal Rumble at the earliest opportunity. Mm. I think Bailey needs to get that underdog story behind her, that sort of Daniel Bryan esque skyrocket push because she's the best diva, I think. Okay. Um, so who are you going for? Who am I going for? Uh, this is confusing. Uh, I'm going to go for Sasha Banks. I believe that she had the title and she dropped it again. I was like, what? Yeah, it was, it was when we get married, didn't she? Something, you know, she was married or ended by a uh, uh, But I believe that, you know, she should get that title on hand for a while. Cause okay, I'm going to go with Sasha Banks as well, but yeah, I'm going to put a twist on me. Oh. I'm going to say Sasha Banks to heel uh, against Bailey, and I agree with you that to set up the whole Bailey thing, Bailey but the thing to set it up, they need a just as great adversary, and Charlotte would probably fit into that role quite seamlessly, but what would make the feud just much more personal Back to the takeover would be Sasha Banks, and like you said, take the NXT TakeOver, the main eventing the, the NXT TakeOver. Seeing them possibly build up a big feud for Survivor Series, yep. where you have Bailey being the underdog, overcoming oh there is an right there, exactly. overcoming Sasha Banks, I think uh, for me, 
Sasha Banks going to turn heel and they're going to build that program. I think so. Um, so we've got the New Day versus Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Right, as much as I love the New Day, I think the titles, they need to put someone over. Because the New Day don't need to get over. They've done their stick and it all. It's great, it's brilliant, it's entertaining. Whereas I think Doc Gals yes. and Carl Anderson, they're the, I don't know if you've seen any of their New Japan stuff, Kenny, before, but um, the, the Bullet Club, yeah, I watched a couple of stuff from it, and the uh, highlights, I suppose you could say, and they're straight badasses, man. And I feel that so far they've been a bit of a letdown. They have, they've been given the WWE treatment. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually looking for a... The, the girls, the club, the club, club yeah. Well, I'm gonna do the opposite. I want to see the New Day take them all the way to WrestleMania. Again? Oh, wow. Um, and then lose them at WrestleMania. I think the club don't need the titles to be badass. I think they just need to wreck people. And that's why I think the New Day are going to win by DQ. I think uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are two guys who I'd don't need to be there. I'd take a DQ. I'd take a DQ. Um, just, gonna, just batter them, man. Just And then the New Day will retain them. And I think the New Day should be in a program with somebody like, I don't know, Breezango. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what the matches have we got? Roman Reigns versus Rusev. I'm going to take Roman on this. Really? As, yeah, I, I, as much as I like, Rusev is great, man. He's a brilliant worker. He's he's actually not half bad at a promo once you get him going. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, he's actually he's all right. I'm like, the, you know, the big foreign. You think that accent would get in the way, but it's no, you know, it adds to his they've had, they've his had foreign guys in the past, and it's yeah. just been like, you know, when you look at Cesaro, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm not saying he's bad, Cesaro's been particularly bad at talking. He's, he's just, just he's not a talker. He's more yeah. of he's an he's a silent, player. like, badass, like, you know what I mean? And then we've had guys like Vladimir Kozlov. Oh, and, do you remember him? Yeah. And Santino Morella. I mean, he's actually American, but they made he's him Canadian. Out ridiculous. He's Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, he's Canadian. That ridiculous accent, that you know, Brian. Oh, man. But, um, yeah, I'm just the, saying, like, WWE's yeah. track record with foreign guys. Muhammad Hassan. Muhammad Hassan. Yeah. There you go, pointing yeah. kids. And um, the whole suicide bomber stick and uh, So you're going with Roman Reigns? I'm going with Roman Reigns mainly because I think that give him he needs to, I think he needs to be in the mid card for a little bit before he goes back in the main event. He needs to get give him the title, see what he can do with it. Yeah. Rusev's had said the title that for a while. Months. So I'm gonna agree with you and say I think Roman Reigns, but I believe it is gonna be a double turn. I think if you if you take Roman Reigns out in the mid card, you're actually saying they saying he's not like the, the poster boy anymore, but, but like he still can be the future poster boy. But you're giving him another dynamic to his character. Yeah, and that's what he needs desperately. Yeah, he needs and I think it will just be like if you give him a mid card title and you just keep him as the face, it's gonna be the same issue all over again. Yeah, it's it, 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 I, I think a double turn is the best way to do it because it the double thing, turn yeah. is a difficult thing to do in the ring. It is a very, I mean... And that will actually put Roman Reigns over with the fans who can do that. Is that like, I will talk about this. Oh. So I think we're up to the main event now, and that would be yeah, Seth Rollins versus... Yeah, Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, who have you got and why? Well, I like both of them. They're, they're, my, they're, they're the reason I watch Raw, okay. to be honest. Them and Jericho are the reason I watch Raw still. Um, I do not think it should be a one and done thing. I believe there should be a series of matches between them both. I believe that Kevin Owens should win tonight because he is not like a transitional champion. Like he's not like a, tra a champion like what Sheamus was last year, where he was literally just used as a weapon. Is like this the weakest, the weakest it is guy. And he wasn't because I mean. He's a badass man, he's a big Irish badass. And I believe to myself that Kevin Owens, I've been waiting for the to have the championship for a long time. And I think we should take the ball run to it at least to the Royal Rumble. At least to then. Or even better, WrestleMania moment, Kevin Owens on the big stage. 
All right. Well, I I, I enjoy occasional 50-50 booking, and I'm gonna go with my boy Seth Rollins. I think he's gonna go over tonight. I think they're playing with Tony and Faith. They are doing um, so far so good with that. So far so. Good. I think he's gonna come in. He's gonna beat. Kevin Owens clean as a whistle. Clean. Clean. He's gonna go over clean. Um, is gonna cement him as a face, and then I want to see this whole backwards and forwards like vying for Triple H's approval, like two sons between Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins, leading up to a possible Survivor Series team match or another title run, where I think maybe Kevin Owens will go over. Finally, uh, we watched the kickoff. Mm -hmm. Pretty Indeed. average, pretty yeah. average. Um, Nia Jax won, of course. So, that was not totally obvious? No. No, I'd be very surprised <laughs> yeah. if Nia Jax didn't win. Um, so, uh, I don't know, it was So we both agreed on our choice, Nia Jax would win, so we're 1-1. One, one. Well, so uh, far. So far, so far. We shall see, my good friend, we shall see. But, I really hope I win. Melee, too soon for you. What match are you looking forward to the most to see? Match I'm the most looking forward to... Probably the women's match actually, the triple threat. I think it might be match of the night. Could be. I think match of the night is going to be the Cruiserweights. For me. They've been lit in the fire. In the rest of the world, the community, they've been amazing people in matches. See, yeah, I just keep forgetting that it exists because it's not been there for so long. <laughs> Every time, like, oh yeah, there's cruiserweights. And Noam Dar is there. Noam Dar from Scotland. Brilliant man. I met him in a bus actually. <laughs> I met Noam That's Dar. Brilliant. I met Noam Dar in a bus. It's happening new. So my pal said when I asked him Dar, I went, right pal, how you getting on? Oh, right boy, so he's really doing. Like, we, I, was, like, I bumped into Drew Galloway us, like. in, in the Wotherspoons in air. <laughs> right there. Like, I've seen him, and my, my friend went, ask Drew, ask Drew, ask Drew McIntyre. Why yeah. does none of this cool shit ever happen to me? The new day coming out. I thought it was going to be... Jericho and... Yeah. Uh, Jericho and... The, the I thought the tag team would be at least further up the card than... Mm -hmm. Unless it's just in a pro. Fear not, fear not. If you think the New Day were split up, like the Shields almost... Who do you think would be the one to do it? Uh, Kofi. Yeah? Yeah. I just like the idea of that story. Like, he's been there for so long, and he's like... Taking his opportunity to like be the guy finally. And he was an easy double. He was, was man. And maybe his last chance because he is yeah. getting on. But he's like the oldest thing in the new day, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, Xavier and, and Big E have got careers ahead of them. Like he's really he's starting to see that to his end. Yeah. Starting to see the twilight of his career. Oh they are actual like technicians in the WWE now that are just like so good. Big E, those suplexes <clears throat> would have made Brock Lesnar cry. Big E looking for the oh. The WWE Tag, Tag Team Champions! Oh, uh, Slide Slam, that was gorgeous to see. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, I don't think a lot of people get the Japanese style of wrestling. It's always very, it's very hard to get I find that the promo is quite strange. <laughs> Japanese yeah. yeah they're, they're There's a lot of mani maniacal laughing. Yeah. There is. It's, when they heat from the heels, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've defeated you in battle. It's like, uh...